All right, guys, um, I've been asked a lot to kind of go over my SUP package that I use um, for carp fishing on our flats out here in Utah. And as always, I'm doing this by myself filming, so I have the tripod set up up there, but I'll kind of walk you through what I've got here. Um, so the first thing is, is the actual stand-up paddle board SUP um, is the boat or boaty boat um, Rackham Arrow. Uh, it's the 12 foot 4 inch version that is 38 inches wide. Um, they have a couple different options um, and, and there, there's various SUPs out there that you can get for fishing. Uh, the reason that I chose this one, one is I researched it quite a bit and, and I've had fantastic luck with it, um, is the stability. Now I also have the um, Arrow, the boat, t the boat Arrow, which is uh, the 34 inches, so it's 4 inches less wide and I can tell you is a massive difference in stability and so for me being able to turn around on the board um, and do some of the things that I want to do on a board especially fighting a big fish the 38 inch wide is huge um, and there's other companies out there that make a lot of subs but very few of them are that wide um, so that's a big reason that I chose it now I've used mine a ton um, I've also used it for work for some things and it's held up extremely well it is inflatable now Boti has a pump um, that you can actually set the temp the, the pressure on that will get it up to pressure. This thing's fantastic So I'm gonna kind of go over the goods and the bads. Um, that is fantastic um, The sub itself is fantastic. They have a couple different options for racks. Um, this is one of the racks um, The other one sits straight up. I don't know either one of them is probably fine. This one works good for me um, I do put in um, a couple things in here. I always take my my snowshoes and really I just have these in here if I'm in a muddy situation where I have to drag this out or if there's carp over somewhere where I don't think I can get my board over to it um, and I'd be better off getting over and walking I'll put these on to walk through some areas uh, it is hard to be quiet in these so it can be pretty challenging but it does allow you to stock fish in areas that are uh, otherwise unweightable which is a lot of what I run into out here um, okay uh, that's really kind of it for, for the boat. So let me kind of go over some of the other things. Now, uh, iRocker is another company um, that makes uh, paddle boards. And I think they're probably great boards. They don't have anything nearly this wide and that's one of the reasons that I, I don't use their stuff. Um, they do have this though. Now this is a sand spear. Now boat has their own version of the sand spear. Um, I just am not a fan. It is, and I don't have it with me here, but it's basically, it's actually a little bit longer than this. It's essentially got this end right here for the push portion. Um, and then it's got a spear on the other end and it's long and it's thinner. Great, but it's not something that I can take apart and take with me places. It's just not mobile at all. So um, I threw that away, oh, I still have it, but I don't use it ever and I won't ever use it. So I got this from um, iRocker. Um, and it is their sand spear setup that goes with their paddle. Now, this is a paddle I already had for a uh, fun water uh, paddle board that I hooked it up to. But the nice thing about this setup is, is I can actually switch it between all three of these and I can have whatever setup I want. Now, 90% of the time for where I fish um, and the fact that I use a motor, I always just kind of leave it like this. Now, this also comes with a bracket that you can't see here, but uh, it's the exact same, fits um, the, the boats, just like it would fit the eye rocker uh, for the sand spear. Um, the one that comes with it, if you get that bracket, will not fit this one. Uh, the other thing that I've done, um, just because I actually lost one of those one time, they don't float, is I made this one out of wood. I do take this one sometimes. It's a little bit bigger, bigger and heavier. Um, this is just a rod. You can get this at Home Depot with some PVC on it um, for a sand spear. So that's what I stab in the ground to hold myself in place um, as I'm kind of moving through the, uh, the flats. All right, so on the back of the boat, um, what I have is I just have a cooler. I mean, just about any cooler would work. I think this is like a 40 quart, something like that. Um, I also have used like a, um, a Yeti on it before, um, I don't know whatever cooler you want. It, this is what I use for a seat. Plus I also have cold drinks on them out here. Um, as far as battery goes, um, with the motor, right? Pretty much any 12 volt battery is going to work. Keep in mind that for a motor, 
um, the battery you match with it, you want it to be not your starting amps don't matter. Um, so, so your car batteries aren't good. You really want like a marine battery or an RV battery. They're designed uh, for the continuous draw that you get on a motor. Uh, the motor itself, this is the Water Snake um, Tracer. It's a 30 pound thrust. I think they're like 140 bucks. Um, works fantastic. I don't fly or anything. I think you've seen in some of the videos. Uh, it moves me around pretty good. Plenty good for what I need and what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, and it's been pretty bulletproof for me. I've used it quite a bit as well. Uh, the bracket itself. Now on the back of the boat, there is four screws here or four holes for screws. Same screws that you have for your, uh, your sand spear bracket over here. Fit the same way. Um, they don't have a uh, bracket that will fit these. I don't know why. I've called and I've asked them for it. They don't have one. I also called and asked them about the sand spear and they didn't have an answer for that either. I love these. Um, haven't been real impressed uh, with their response to some of the things that I brought up. But I, I mean, who am I? I'm just some dude in Utah who fishes. So who knows? Um, this bracket itself is, uh, I just welded it. I, I don't have anything that I can tell you, hey, here's a, a bracket you can get. Uh, just a metal plate and then a piece that was bent that I can then do a transom mount with my my motor. Um, but that's it, man. That's that's my sup setup. Um, works really well for me. I guess let me uh, let me point out one more thing. I'm gonna lift this up. This is kind of heavy on the back right now. What you're gonna see on the bottom of this as I lift this up, maybe that uh, there I have a shallow water fin on there. Um, boat has various fins. Um, and I'll try to add this in the in the notes in the description on this But the standard fin is useless for me. I can't use it anywhere. Um, it sticks down way too far um, And when I first got this they did actually didn't have one that I could get to replace it So I actually found another one that would work and then I modified it to make it work for this one, but um, They do have it now So if you're gonna fish stuff like this uh, stuff that's less than a foot deep which I fish and move through all the time um, the standard fin on the bottom of these uh, is not going to work, but make sure you use the fin because it won't track at all um, without the fin there. And then let me mention one other thing, um, and this is just kind of on sups in general. I've kind of talked about the fact that uh, um, I like the wider sup. Um, I like the 38 inches for stability and stuff like that, but there's a drawback with a width like that. So when you look at a lot of other sups, you know, some of them are 32 inches down to even like 29 inches. And the reason they do that is they cut through the water better. They don't get um, pushed around by the wind. This thing sucks to paddle in the wind. I, it, it's actually the main reason that I put the little trolling motor on it. Um, where I like to fish, if I'm, if I have time to run out close to my house, is about a mile out. And, and, and I've paddled that many, many, many times, but it is miserable when it's windy. So, um, those smaller, um, sups do work a little bit better in the wind. Um, another thing that I used to do before I put the trolling motor on here is I would actually bring a kayak paddle and I would sit down and roll it like a kayak. When you do it like that, you can actually move this thing really well, um, really quickly. Uh, but I like to stay standing because I'm always searching for fish and trying to figure out what's going on. And, and, and honestly, standing up on this, trying to paddle it in windy conditions on this 38 inch wide frame is miserable. So that would be one advantage to going with a more narrow sup. Having said that, it, there's just no comparison in stability. The 38 inches versus a 34, I mean, it's night and day how much more stable this, this is. To the point that you literally probably couldn't actually tip this one. Now you could step on the side and shoot it out one side and you fall in, um, but but even that's difficult. Um, this, this is just so much more stable than the other sups that I've been in. So again, that, that's everything guys. Um, it's a pretty basic setup. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, uh, you know, put them in the comments and I'll answer them. Uh, as always, I uh, appreciate your guys' support on this. Like and subscribe, and I'll keep working to try and provide more cool content and uh, hopefully bigger and bigger fish in cooler locations. So anyway, take care, guys.